Hey everybody, I'm Russo, and I do a little work here and there. Looks like you're back in the ready ward. And, as promised, I am painting those fallout lockers. I've made an extra one, so I can do a slight variation later on, but we'll go ahead and get started. The first step, for me at least, is to prime the whole thing black. I just use black acrylic paint. You can use what works for you. Keep the second model up to date, off screen a little bit. Point being, you want several thin layers. You'll be able to see through it a little bit, but you just keep going. Put on a thin layer, let it dry, you know how it goes. But what's next? This is what I guess you call whitewashing. Take a really thin white paint, brush it on, and then get some of it off, most of it off. You can rub it around with your finger. And the purpose of this is to determine the lightness or darkness of the metallic color that we're going to put on in just a bit. So basically you're doing a, a grayscale version of the paint job that you want it to have at the end. Think of it like a, a black and white photograph. And I've already mentioned the metallic color. Uh, this is the first of a couple. It's from Folk Art and it's Silver Sterling. And again, you're going to do a really thin coat of this, maybe two thin coats, but these metallics in general are fairly translucent. And, and that's why we do the grayscale layer, so we don't have to just cover it in this metallic paint. Once you've gotten the first coat or two of the metallic paint on, you can go back with more white and do some highlights just around the edges of panels, raised areas, things like that. And this is just to make it pop a little bit more. And once you're done, you might as well go ahead and put one more coat, real thin, of that metallic silver, just to blend the white in a little bit more. And at this point, you could totally just stop put a clear coat on this, call it done. But I'm gonna do a couple more things, uh, and one of them is going to get a little bit of rust. I'm sure you noticed these uh, sort of bubbly areas on the side. I could have cleaned that up, but I didn't because I wanted rust. So for the rust, I'm using a folk art copper, and I'm just sort of following where the seams would be and trying to be organic with it. And I'm gonna cut that copper down just a little bit with some watered down burnt umber. And you know, I like that just as a, a sort of dirty texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that to the non-rusty locker as well, where the rust would be, but you get the idea. And you know, you could layer on some more colors, maybe some mold or mildew type colors, brownie greens generally. Maybe there's been a, a battery stored in there. You could go with a light blue. But at this point, I'm gonna go gloss varnish, gloss varnish, and especially where the rust is, a few spots of matte varnish, and then we're gonna see what they look like. And what do they look like? Well, they, they look like lockers. It's the same sort of style that I usually go with, so it's impressionistic. You rely a lot on the hard edges of the model, and then where you've lost detail, you just make it up. Just put some highlights and some shadows, and you are well on your way. Of course, that is it for today. There's more Fallout stuff on the way later. So yeah, more more Fallout stuff, more all sorts of stuff. You want to find out what it is? I guess you just have to come back. Till next time, you've been watching The Ready Ward on Russo Works, and I'm Russo. Out.